Good Friday morning, guys. My name is Jerry Miller, and welcome to Real Talk. This is an insider's guide to real estate life and the pursuit of happiness. We're live on the I Love Seville network across every social media platform possible, Facebook and Instagram. Good morning. Keith Smith, the star of the program. Yes, royalty partners, Keith Smith. Que pasa, chico? Como estas? Que pasa, amigo? I'm looking forward to today. Um, uh, you know, there's very rarely I actually like to lose something. Mm. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm a bit of a competitive guy. Oh, you're extremely competitive. But uh, this one, I'm happy to lose. I'm not happy. You know, I lost. But uh, we're going to talk about this. This is this over under bet that we've been talking about for quite some time. And uh, Jude, if you don't mind putting the intro slide up, I'd appreciate it. But uh, we've been talking about this over under bet that you we did a proposition bet. I call it over. Yeah, we compared Q4 2020 to Q2 2019. I did. So um, what, if you can go to slide number one, just to kind of remind everybody of what the, of what the, the bet consisted of. So the baseline, as I call it, and an over-under bet uh, was second quarter 19, 2019. So what I needed to do was um, hit <clears throat> 1,000. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Judah, let's get his uh, Instagram live um, earbuds in. But you go ahead and finish what you're saying. Oh, you need me to do that? Yeah. I can do that. Keep, can, uh, he doesn't need to come over. I'm, I'm a big boy. I can do this. Keep going uh, with what you're doing. Uh-huh. No, now, now you let my ADD kick in. <laughs> That's not fair. Not only did you win You don't this. need that black one until the Skype interview. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So that one can go So over not there. only did I lose, you're still a freaking pain in the <laughs> ass. No, I'm trying. I want them to hear oh, you God. on Instagram. I want them to hear you. Oh, God. That's what they're Instagram, saying. Instagram, I'm just telling you. I'm just <laughs> telling you. <laughs> so anyway, so the over-under bet on slide one, if Judah still has that up, is I had to hit, I had to go over 1,000 units sold. I had to go under, in my case, uh, 15 days on market. The median sales price in second quarter of 2019 was 323450 I had to I had to beat that, and the total sales volume was 300. I rounded up a little bit, 387 million. 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 Yeah. So what do you think I did? I know you know what. Well, I you did. told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, plus me. I got a, I got. And, a, and I'm I getting got, the the gift. Yeah, so let's open that up first and show everybody what. Should the, I open this now? That's what I want. So you we to. bet it. We bet a bottle of booze. So bet. What, it came, what it came down to this was Q2 2019, from a real estate standpoint, was just a smidge better than Q4 2020. Well, we'll talk numbers. It's not so much a smidge. Some of the stuff I lost big time. Well, you won in which category? Uh, the only category I won was the median sales price right. on the individual units. Total sales price, I'm surprised you lost that one. Well, if you have less... Right? Yeah, the math, the math but the, the cost per unit is up. The cost per unit, so. Yeah, but you're right. You have less. Open that up. I, I hope I've impressed you. Okay. Keith. Let's see. Let's see if I've impressed you. Wow. Wow. What's happening here? Ooh, you got bookers? I bought you bookers, man. How did you get bookers? I, I, I know. How? I, I, I got, I'm not going to tell you. Quentin Beckham, did he have something to do with this? No, Quentin Beckham didn't have anything Quentin to do with that. Quentin Beckham has a sophisticated palate when it comes to brown liquor. Quentin, you know that's true. You have a sophisticated palate when it comes to brown let, liquor. Let's let him defend himself when we call him. He knows him. that's true. <laughs> the man has good taste. He has good taste. Can I crack this open right now? I, I, I'm, 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 I'm twiddling my thumbs waiting for you to do it. So while you crack that open, I'll oh talk. Oh, my gosh. I'll I am talk so happy. Yeah, yeah. That, that, uh, so that's that, big time. Yeah, he, that's got a, us, he got us bookers. That took me a little bit of time to... Is anyone in, uh, on the I Love Seville network or watching this program going to judge if I drink bourbon at 10.23 in the morning? Well, uh, if you, according to my watch, it is 4.23 in Austria. All right. So it's, happy, yes. it's happy hour. Judah, I have two cups here. I, I'm sure you want to wet the whistle, ooh, don't you? Or yes. do you not want to wet the whistle? Judah, go get yourself one. Judah wants to wet. Keith, you're going to wet the whistle. So, so the bet. Are you going to give us the nuances of the bet I, of what I happened? I will, but Judah's getting his glass. So I know. I need, I'm going to pour him I need him to put some slides. But I need to put slides oh, up. Oh, gotcha. You just, you've just like totally lost it, saw bookers, and I'm, and I'm going. <laughs> that's pretty much what's happening yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, this is really good. That, so that's... That's two things coming from, from me to you. Okay. One, I lost, and I'm, I'm owning up to it. We, we bet something a little bit lesser quality than that, let's say. We did. And, uh, well, 
You know, there's a there's Riggleman's is really really good, but that's outstanding. Yeah, that, yeah. Riggleman's is still really really good. Really good, but yeah. That's, that's yeah. This is different level. I had to jump to some hoops to get. Where did that. you get this? Because it's hard to get at the ABC. They sell out when the liquor truck delivers the yeah, inventory. So. The Tuesday of they sell out. So you constantly talk about my Rolodex. We'll just yeah. leave it at that. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to give you a splash. So that so that's two reasons. Just a real, for me, man. Just for me, literally, just mm -hmm. enough to wet my whistle. I, I, I uh, don't lick the bottle, man. Okay. I, you almost did it. I watched I, I, it. I, I, there are people watching, or yeah, I would have done it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for, for me, if that's for me, a half of that. Please. Okay, half of that. Gotcha. Half of that. We're drinking Booker's at 10 uh, 25 in the morning here on the I Love Seville show. Judah, this one right here, I'm going to slide over to Keith. And I got one for you, Judah Wickhauer. Um, you got some slides. Is that, you want a little more? That's it. Good that's spot. all I can handle. Okay. I'm a lightweight. You were talking about slides you want to see on screen. I want to finish this up. Yeah. The, the, the real reason I bought that was to say thank you to you. Okay. Say thank you. I, I looked how many shows we've been doing. This is our 121st show. Can you imagine that? 121 shows. 21 shows. Real really. talk. And I just wanted to take, you know, a, a minute and say thank you. Enjoy that. You earned it. I lost it. You earned it. But you surely earned it from, from helping what we do. So I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah, our pleasure. So why don't we do this? I'm going to slide this to Keith Smith. I'm going to do this like the. All right. Can you? Oh, this is going to be like the old western bar. You team. spill that. All right. I'm taking that bottle back. I'm going to do the glass slide across the, the fake Ikea. Fake Ikea, Keith. I'm not going there. I gave up. <laughs> no, you're, I, you're, you're just so hopeless. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Are you getting this on screen? All right, here, what can we do to get the cup slide do on me a screen favor. more? Move that out right, of the way. The cup. All right. There you go. Because right. you know this is going to get screwed up right here. Are you getting this on screen? Judah's looks Quentin, so happy. Quentin, we're about ready to commit a sin here. Okay. If you spill that. No, Quentin's watching. He says, um, Quentin on, says, I love bookers. Slide it. Let's go. Okay, Come on. Right. Yep. Oh. That's right. That's uh, right. Did you get that, J. Dust? Dude, I'm impressed. You I didn't got need, that? That was I, textbook. I literally just needed you to go You didn't have like, to move your hand. I didn't have to go like that. Right, I've had some practice. So whose idea was to bring Yona on after I've this? Had, this <laughs> is your idea. Barbara Lundgren says, let's see if the 1230 show happens now. Quentin Beckham says, this is going to make the program a little more interesting. Quentin Beckham's our guest on the program. Judah, this is for you. Quentin, will you do us the favor as well at 1026 in the morning and wet your whistle with something brown? So I, I, I'm sure he's got a cabin in there, and we can do that, and we can congratulate him on his presidency. Oh, let's do a cheers to Quentin Beckham. We'll do a cheers to Quentin Beckham for to his To Quentin now or so when he's on? Well, well, let us do is to give him enough time to get some liquor. Okay, okay, because so, Quentin Beckham is the new... President of Carr. Charles new Will president Social. of Carr. So yeah. cheers, thank you. Thank cheers you for to what Yes you Realty Park. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, thank you for it. I'm glad I lost this. Yes, Real, to Yes Realty Partners. Yes Realty Partners. Yeah. Cheers. Boutique brokerage, making a positive impact. Mm. This is phenomenal. Isn't that nice? Right? Yeah, that's nice stuff. Andre Xavier, this is a gentleman's gift. Dan Pettit, you're so funny, Dan. He says, this is Jerry's second bottle today. Um, not a Quint Booker's. Not a Booker's. Quinn Beckham says, if you spill that, you may need to refinish the floor. My wife is watching. She says, oh, no, here we go. <laughs> Ask Quentin if he's got his glass ready. Quentin, do you have your glass I'll ready? I'll tell you what. We'll save that from when he comes on live. Get a glass. We'll, well, well I save. was going to pour a second one for myself. <laughs> no, no, shit. <laughs> can I do that? No, you cannot. We have a show to do. <laughs> I, 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 I can do both. I can do no, both. Okay, well, you can pour a second for you, but we'll, we'll cheers Quentin when he comes on. Okay, I, the, I, new, uh, the new incoming president of CAR is on the show. Quentin Beckham um, is, a, is, a, is a guy we very much appreciate on this program. Vincent Zorn says the show is over right now after you guys cracking bourbon. Beth Heider is watching from uh, Hillsdale, and she says, no judgment here. Beth, get something brown in your hand right near. Every, every real estate agent in Charlottesville and Central Virginia, let's do a morning toast. Are we going to make this a ritual? I don't a, think I can afford that. For <laughs> to a fantastic 2020. Yeah. Fantastic 20. Thank you, 2020. Goodbye, as, as I said the other day. In, for you, for in, real estate. No, I said something in a board meeting the other day. I said, you know, my new thing is peace out, 2020. I'm done with you. Here's to 2021. Yeah. 2021. 2021. And, and I'm going to say this to the real estate agents, the realtors that are watching the program, CAR. CAR and what these guys do helped backstop 
the Charlottesville and Central Virginia economy. And the, the state. And the state. The and as far as the country goes. The second largest industry from a business standpoint is real estate. That's right. In the Commonwealth of Virginia, the supply chain. So let's and uh, real estate help make this economy actually strong when a lot of other industries were struggling. So props to you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Prost. Nostrovia. Nostrovia, yeah. <clears throat> That's nice. That's nice and smooth. Yeah. So let's... Before, talk, let's talk shop. Let, nah. <laughs> but, Ready? No, 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 no. Okay. No. I got meetings and stuff. Okay. This is it. I'm a lightweight. This, this is okay. it. You and Quentin, you guys are like... Pros. I've I'm, had some, I work in advertising. It's, uh, it's what we do. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, Judah, if you're up to it, um, slide, slide number two, right? So, this is, you know, basically what this is, this is the total sales. So, at the, thank you. So, at, at the moment, we got 709 that's closed. So this is from uh, October 1 until now. Pending is about 226. It's actually higher than that, but what I, what I needed to do is I needed to take a look at, one, at contracts that went on at 11.15, because if a contract went in today, it's not closing. Yeah, by Q4. Yeah, yeah, so Yon and I had a really great December, right, almost $4 million in, in contracts. All right, can we say something real quick? Yes, Realty Partners? Uh, yes, the Yes Team Realtors. Did yes Team yes Realtors, Realtors. Yeah. that's a lot of yeses. The Yes Team Realtors, $4 million plus in December. Yeah. And total sales. Well, one of them was a $3 million commercial, but, but in any event. still, though. Yeah, yeah, we did. We, we, it's a rock, in, a rock in December. But my point is... 2020 is the best year in the history of the company, and you finish with an exclamation point. Yeah. Can I have the bottle back? <laughs> I just, I'm happy for you. <laughs> but those things, my point I'm trying to make is those won't close until 2021, and so I had to factor them out. So we're awfully close. I think I'm going to be about 65, maybe 55 units short of, of hitting that 1,001. We're somewhere, I think we're going to hit somewhere around 935, 940, maybe 950 when, when 1231. So, um, uh, you know, I, I, uh, you know I'm, I'm conceding, right? <laughs> Unlike maybe what the current political situation is, but I'm conceding to the loss. You're being a gentleman. Um, the days on market, I think it's going to be about three days over. So that's slide number three. Q4 Judah. DOM is three days longer than yeah. DOM Q2 2019. Yeah, I think we're going to hit about eight. We're running 18. It's, it's tracking about 18 days. And, um, and last, that in 19 was 15. So my win is slide number four, Judah. It's is, median sales price. Yeah, yeah. I'm up yeah. about 27 grand. Yeah, that's, I was going to say, I couldn't compete with you there. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was my only win. I mean, when COVID takes away the inventory, the median sales price is going to go up, and that's exactly what happened. And slide, slide number, oh, there you go. Look at this. Can't even speak. Slide number five. Um, <laughs> I'm a lightweight, I'm telling you. <laughs> Quinn Beckham. Quinn Beckham. My buddy Keith Smith over here is, uh, is feeling nice all right. He knows I'm a lightweight. Um, <laughs> So on, on slide number five, the total volume, I'm going to fall short about 55 million-ish, plus or minus. Now, who knows? I might get lucky, and, and you know, maybe more of those units will close, but uh, I'm, uh, I couldn't think of a better moment to concede loss and have a drink and share a congratulatory drink with Quentin Beckham. So. Well, thank you for saying that. And the, the, the incredible thing for you is, even though you lost this bet, you're still enjoying the booze. And you still get the back end joy of closing the deals. So well, it's not like this guy actually lost. He really, really won. I think he would probably keep the exact same scenario with December of how it's played out so far. I, I'm looking at a win win here. I don't, That's what I, I said. I don't, I don't have a. a you did not lose. I did not lose. I you did, did not, not lose. lose. I would have liked to win, but. <laughs> you did not lose. <laughs> I did not lose. I did not lose. What are you thinking about Quentin with Carr and his presidency? Well, that's what we're going to talk to him about. You, you want know? me to get him on? Yeah. Before we do that, you know, I've, I've been, uh, and I'm going to embarrass him a little bit, if that's even possible. Um, <laughs> the, I've been watching incoming presidents do their incoming speech, right? And uh, so Quentin did his yesterday. And uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen one where that was so heartfelt. I mean, the man was tearing up. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was inspiring and, and I just kind of, when it was over, I said, you know, Jerry and I are drinking bourbon tomorrow. Do you want to join us virtually anyway? And, uh, 
you know, I, I, I'm excited about 2021 under his leadership. So I just want to give him an opportunity to talk about what's going on, and then, and then uh, he'll probably make fun of me or some some form or other. He he does it in jest. Yeah, totally. Well, you know the thing. If you, if you're not doing it, then I know you don't like me. Now we're gonna go transition to the black ear piece. Oh. Okay. I'm reaching out to our buddy Quentin Beckham here on Real Talk. Smith we have him on the learn. line. Quentin Beckham, before we go anywhere, I know you had something to do with this bottle of, bo bo bottle of Booker's. He, Is that true, Quentin he, Beckham? He did not. Because you like Booker's, Quentin. It holds my remote controls. It has, you know, it, it, it just helps me organize my life. So this is really a double gift. <laughs> Thank you. So you're saying he also gave me a shelf. He also gave you a shelf or your sad little bar that is in that office with you <laughs> now has a box. You put bitters and openers and things in it and keep them collected instead of them strewn about the floor like a six-year-old's Legos. So, 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 Quentin, that's assuming he has the skills to actually hang that on I, the I don't have the skills, Quentin. I might have I do to not do have the him. skills. My bar over here is very meager. Quentin Beckham has given you a glimpse into our studio. It's, it's a bar that's pretty much a fake bar of half of, of empty bottles. And I got to give this man some props right now. Quentin Beckham is looking so fly right now in this jacket. I don't oh, think I've ever... Looking, you want to see him? I've never seen you wear a blazer before quentin look at this dude oh, right here look at you so they look at uh, you. Uh, they asked me to dress up a little bit to be president and have the speech and i thought if i was going to do that i should order a jacket so <laughs> it is still me on the inside on the liner there's skulls with sunglasses uh and surfboards so i was um i could find a happy medium you got that at alton lane right I did. Yeah, good for you, man. The, I was thinking of you this morning as I was pedaling my 25 miles up the Pacific Coast Highway on my little trainer and, and, and app. I was a little further south than your hometown of L.A., but uh, hopefully in a couple of days I'll make it through L.A. I'll let you know how I survive. So, Quentin, we you got a drink? You got something at the house? Cheers. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations yeah, to your presidency. Good luck in 2021. To Quentin Beckham. Quentin Beckham. Quentin Beckham, the new president of Car. How do you feel about it, Quentin? Mm. Let me pour another drink and I'll tell you. Hang on. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> um, I'm really excited. You know, it, it's there's been a great group of people before me, and everything that we are today, both good and bad, is a result of people from many, many years past leading us forward to the point we are now. In some ways, it's simpler because I don't have to pick a thing to focus on, it's right there. We're, we're looking at the tail end of COVID and vaccines coming out, being safe in the time that is left to us to make sure that we don't make it worse than it needs to be. We've got a real focus on equity and inclusion and diversity and not supporting systemic racism. And we have a lot of pent up need for education that has built up over the last year. So I think in many, many ways, it's simpler for me because I've, I have such good predecessors and have such a straightforward path ahead. So um, I was going to take an opportunity, and I probably should have did it before we had our, our sip and congratulate you on your presidency, but um, we did this, I think it was last Tuesday, or on Tuesday, I believe, on Tuesday's show. You know, shout out to Tom, man. You know, Tom Wolfolk. Yeah, Tom Wolfolk, and somebody should tag him on this. Um, you know, He's well, amazing. you know, you know, can you just imagine sitting in that spot that you are in today and two months from now or three months from now have this COVID hit us and uh, he navigated it and 
I, I often say this about Tom, and, and particularly when we do transactions together, he's like constantly, he's just level, he's calm, you know. He's like Judah. He's like Judah, exactly right. It's constantly calm. Me, you know, my Italian may kick in a little bit, and I get a little agitated, and I kind of go up and down a little bit in, in, um, in, in my, you know, my, my speech. But man, I'll tell you, he just handled it, handled it well. So kudos to him. So what, what do you, high level, what, what, give me a couple of bullet points you want to try to achieve in 2022, 2021, excuse me, for Charlottesville Association of Realtors. What's your vision? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, we, we have a couple of things in front of us, most of which center on diversity and inclusion. We have a new project team in place for that and want to go through all of our processes internally to be sure that when you look at our group of leadership, we are representative of the community that we serve. Layered into that, there's going to be a lot of talk about affordable housing and availability in an, the area that we serve and around and raising the bar of professionalism and education for realtors in our area. I'm, ha I'm happy to hear about the education component. You know, last year was really hard to do that because of COVID. Uh, my hope is um, that somewhere in the first half of 2021, we might get these vaccines going in the right direction. Uh, you know, I know, I know that this is your background. Yeah, he's got a background in medicine, Quentin Beckham does, before he got into real estate. We might tap into that. Well, let's not make it sound like, like I know more than the people that are doing that for a living right now, because that's probably not true. But um, I know that, but, but I do think... But you told me an awesome story about a heart transplant the, the day after 9-11, so I think you're selling yourself a little short. Yeah, Quentin Beckham's the man. Quentin Beckham's the man. Yeah. How do you see this vaccine in 2021 playing out, Quentin? You know, like, the, I, I I think we, we always look for a silver bullet when we're faced with problems like this. And... To quote one of my friend's friends, uh, it's not a silver bullet, it's a silver shot. It's a silver buckshot. You need silver buckshot. It's the silver buckshot. <laughs> and and so the we've got a couple of different vaccines that are working through approval. Those are gonna need to roll out. We're all gonna have to keep behaving with our social distancing and our mask wearing and washing your hands um, and let this sort of work its way down it's not like we're going to pick a day and time and it be gone. It's going to reduce and reduce and end up being something that we have overcome. I was listening to uh, an interesting uh, piece on NPR last night on the way home. And, uh, and it was, it was, it was interesting. We we're talking about the Pfizer vac vaccine and that has to be transported in super cold. Yeah. And so um, in the, in the lo logistical world, they, they call this the last mile, right? And, and so what they're able to do is they're able to produce them, keep them in dry ice, FedEx, or whatever it is going to transport it to the um, way home. Uh, hospitals or whatever it's going to be. It's always that last mile because and it only lasts five days if it's not in this super cold. So they're really trying to figure out the, um, the, the delivery process. The supply chain. How do you, you get it to where it's supposed to go? You're going to do great on your 12 o'clock yeah, show. Yeah, I mean, that's brother. what you're talking about, right? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. How do you get it from there? But there's this missing, to, to use an affordable housing term, this is like, kind of like this missing middle uh -huh. thing where, where, where they're trying to disconnect. But you know more about this than I do. Is, I believe the Moderna shot does not require, or vaccine does not require it to be super cold. Quentin, you, you, I, that's only the information I've read. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, you, you've got a variety of different vaccines with a variety of different efficacy from 50 to 95%. And so I think you're going to see multiple ones of these roll out over time. They're going to have to decide what's the biggest bang for the buck in terms of who gets them first. Sure. And then we've got to get them out to a population of 360 million people while in competition with the 11 billion people trying to get them at the same time. We have a vaccine now. It is one piece of a larger puzzle. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. To getting us to a place where this ceases to dominate our life. So 
Does uh, Quentin take you take the vaccine, Quentin? You do it as I, soon as it's offered. The, the minute they the minute they tell me it's my turn, yeah, I'm there. Me yeah. too. Me too. Me too. So that's a question. How of, about you? Uh, absolutely. We talk about this on the show all yeah. the time. You know, my son-in-law, the doctor, said, "Do it," and I said. Yes, sir, and that's what we're going to do. But um, so it's kind of two real estate questions, right? Um, twenty twenty one. How you you know this year's pretty much wrapped up. How are you seeing twenty twenty one? And a second part of that same question. Let's assume, just for the sake of a talk show, right, that July this supply chain is worked out, and and let's say we have a sixty percent or some magic number. Uh, vaccinated. I, I, know I know where you're going with this. I, I know that's not probable, but let's assume it does. What is the second half? What is what does that do to our industry? What does that do to the real estate world? You know, um, I think what happens in the first half is is probably going to be super important to what happens in that second half. So I I don't believe that reaching a magic place with the vaccines is some kind of finish line where suddenly we're back into our normal economy and all of our normal measures work. If, as we've done transactions over even the last four weeks, agents that I'm interacting with, we're, we're joking, but we're, we're not joking about how insane the market has been in terms of how quickly certain houses are selling and might not have in a world. And a lot of the price appreciation that we found that although we have a reduction in inventory, there's enough reduction in economy that it seems illogical that we would see these kinds of, of price gains. So I think there's there's so many things happening at the same time that I would not bet a bottle of bourbon about what a quarter is going to look like in comparison. We want to get through to January. We want to get Congress to sit back down and decide what they're going to do to support the economy. And I think that's a huge piece because the consumer confidence level has a lot to do with what sells in homes. That's going to be an enormous piece. Following closely on the heels of that will be the vaccine and its ability to allow jobs to become available again for folks that have been living off of support and or just don't have jobs available. And then we get to the point of, is there enough inventory to satisfy the needs of the people that have survived because of these other two processes. And if you change anything in that mix, the cornbread comes out different. So <clears throat> I'm, I don't know that any crystal ball that I have in my possession looks far enough ahead to get me to summer. I think as each step rolls out, we will know. It was a somewhat of a loaded question, as you know. Yeah, for sure, right? for sure. You know, but it's just for the, as Jerry says. Sake of a talk show. Sake of a talk show. I, I'm going to ask it a little bit differently. Um, do you think we're, let's assume we're back to whatever somebody assumes to be normal. Is this now the new normal as far as our industry goes? I happen to think it is. I think we're, we've kind of changed quite a bit substantially the way we conduct business and and I'm and I'm excited about it frankly I, I'm hor it's hor I'm horrified it's happened the way it's happened but personally I, I, also specifically what well, you're talking open houses well I'm talking open houses the way people are seeing the, the way we're just conducting business you know I I um I, I just wrote a contract the other day from sight unseen you know using all these systems do you think that's going to go away all of a sudden, or am, am, or, or am I going down a road you wish not to go down, Quentin? And if that's the case, just tell me, and, I, and I'm good with that. No, I think I have an answer in several parts. And the first, the first thing I'd like to lay out is this is probably an unusual group of three to be discussing something that we're calling normal. Yeah. Second. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Meaning, meaning our love. Well, I think he's saying that because we're three, four white guys. I think, is that why you're saying, is that what no, you're I saying think, there? No, I think, I think we're not normal people. Oh, okay. So That's what, what he's saying. saying right there. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Um, I also I also believe that we're probably not representative of the group that this will most affect. Absolutely, Quentin. Well done. The people whose home ownership pendulum is has the potential of the greatest swing are not on this call. That's true. What other so so let's just let's just agree to that and set that aside. I also think normal is determined 
by the wants and needs and what people are willing to tolerate. If you go to a 1950s house that has not been redone, frequently there were two bedrooms and there was, you know, a toilet and a sink off of the master and, and you could not sell that house now to a young couple because needs have changed. So normal has very little to do in terms of what we need to be able to have to sell. It's about what people want in their house. And where I do believe we've changed, you're talking about a new normal, where I do believe we have changed in a way that will not go back is people are going to continue working from home. The amount of value they're going to place on having a, a detached home with a little bit of yard and a little bit of extra space is not going to go away because this generation is not going to quickly divest themselves of the psychological scars of this pandemic. Quinn, let me ask you this question. Um, this is a conversation I was having over cocktails with um, some of your colleagues that are in the business two days ago. What is going to happen to the inventory that's on the market that's the two-bedroom or three-bedroom, one-bath rancher that's like 1,100 square feet? Good question. You know, I, I don't know that we know right off the top of our head. That has continued to sell. It's not like it's been sitting there not selling. But I think what, what you're alluding to is more a matter of proportions. So the, whatever we were building that would have worked for 75% of the population may only work for 30%. Yes. Now. Well said. And so it's, you know, no particular build. It's not like we're suddenly never going to sell a condo. And apartments are not going to go away. Sure. It's just a shift in in that tide and the depth of need based on what people are, are wanting for their lives in our current situation. Okay, here's, here's a layman's question. You guys are the experts. Do those type of footprints, the two-bedroom, three-bath, small rancher, one-bath, that is tough for a, a, a mom and dad working from home from COVID with a Zoom room, are those houses going to need to be renovated before they come back on, or do they sell pre-renovation and then the people that buy it then rent them, reno and get them up to speed? You want to tackle that first, Quentin? So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to counter you with okay. that. Um, how many multi-generational homes do we have where if we can put some of the younger generation back to work, that would suit just fine? Touche. Good counter. Yeah. So he's basically so, saying, let's get some young professionals living in those homes that can walk to work, work for a Dexcom at Dairy Market, Dairy Central, and those are the folks that are better suited for those type of houses. That's what he's saying, right? He's, he's also saying, if you start taking a look at, and, and again, I just love NAR for his statistical data. Yeah. When you start taking a look year over year over year of their generational report, the multi-generational home is increasing dramatically. Um, you know, where mom and dad or grandma and grandpa are in, in the house. So, you know, you're going to start seeing that trending a little further up. I don't know if Quinton agrees with me on that, but that's at least what the data is saying from my perspective. Agree, Quinton? I do. So um, you're smiling, so that means people are sending you well, emails. Well, Jamie, text. I think this is why he's smiling, and Quentin, I don't want to assume. Jamie Schwartz, the owner of Picasso Swig, just gave Quentin Beckham some props and said he looks like Brad Pitt in that blazer. Is that why you're smiling, Quentin Beckham? I am, because that's, that's uh, quite the exaggeration. <laughs> I hope that guy's drinking. The man's getting props in his blazer. His, I'm gonna, I wear blazer. His blazer's dope. I like his blazer. Yeah, you know, he fights me on this all the time. He should wear it more I mean, that's often. an expensive-looking blazer right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a classy thing. He's yeah. You know, I, 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 I only wore this for this today because I knew it would create this. Well, no, but also, Quentin, because now you're big time, dude. You're the president. He's the president. He's big time. I have to bow in front of him. It's hey, crazy. I, he told me before he would walk in the studio, I had to kiss the ring. Oh. I had to kiss the ring. Oh. Didn't even know he had a ring. <laughs> well, what do I know? Yeah. Did you get one made up? That, that's now you're just lying. I, you're just flat lying. Just <laughs> I am lying. I am lying. Judah's but loving it, this. But Judah's it laughing good, out loud. Right? Yeah. The problem is, is he's going to now go, hmm. <laughs> and next time he comes in. So, man, this, this is your time. This is your time to share. Uh, what, what else you got on your mind there, Quentin? Um, I, I, I'm just very excited to see what next year holds. You know, we've spent a lot of time 
waiting for the next bad piece of data. And I would encourage people to change their point of view. The vaccines are coming. We have some progress in Congress about financial relief. I want people to start looking for the next upbeat piece of news and the next upbeat piece of data and just sort of change that point of view because they are coming. We just have to hang out. The pandemic's working its way through and I know we've got some tough times still to come, but it is working its way through. Well said. I think it's the vaccine. The vaccine's the consumer confidence we need. I think it's multiple things, but I got, I got to stop everybody for a minute. I got a spider. Yeah, there's a spider. I know. I, got I a saw spider a spider on my microphone. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't point that out to anybody. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching it yeah, the look, entire look, show. Look at spider just going around. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, did I have too much to drink and I'm now seeing a spider? No, on, you on did that? not. You did not. <laughs> Pardon? It's not. It is not a pink spider. It's not it a is pink not spider. a pink spider. So, um, <clears throat> just to, to tell a little story about uh, uh, broadband and how important it is, and I'm going to take a little a little plug as a real estate agent to to my incoming or my current president of of CAR. Um, one of the, the struggles I had, we just did a contract on a property out in Earliesville area, and uh, the buyer is coming from overseas, and actually the seller's going overseas. It was a really unique, unique thing. But uh, we, you know, we wrote in a contingency about broadband in, in, the con, in the contract, and it was very difficult to search about up speed and down speed. So hopefully, What was the contingency? Can I ask that question? Yeah, sure. I mean, it was pretty simple. He needs to be able to do what he needs to do. So he, he, so he needs a certain level of speed? He needs a certain level of speed. Okay. Capability, I okay, guess. Okay, capability, right. yeah. But he's, uh, um, you so know, you've they, got an ISP, somebody to test the ISP speed of the house? Or yeah. the location? Yeah, so I'm, I'm not sophisticated to do that. We're going to actually bring the laptop and, and go, go in the house. And yeah. he teaches multiple classes around the world. What's the website we go to all the time, Judah, for that? <clears throat> IP speed? ISP speed? Well, I, yeah. there's a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. But we're, we're going to do old school. We're going to open up a laptop and give it a test run. If it works, it works. If it, it doesn't, it doesn't. But... I think broadband is and and its search capabilities or being able to search by capacity is going to be something that uh, I mean I get this is my number one yeah. request when I'm helping a buyer you know in in the world in the covert so I took a little bit of soapbox at the opportunity to You want to throw that to him? I, th I think I just did. Yeah, what do you think, Quentin? Uh I don't know that we can just even talk about surviving in the world as it exists today if you don't have access to that. There you go. Exactly. Man, a many. You know, though, I mean, it's, um, it's a public utility now. And that, that was my it, point. Yeah. Uh, I have a, there's an agent that works for me, Ben Reeves. Uh, him and his partner just wrote an article that was published in Realtor Magazine about access really? and how it equates <clears throat> to uh, your ability to find employment, your ability to stay employed, education. You know, imagine living through this with children home from school and no broadband. Yeah. Good Lord. Well, it's, it's not even that, but we're going to call Mrs. Smith in here in a minute, right? I mean, what, what, we, what we do here on the show, you're, you're calling in from your home office. Mrs. Smith is at the home office. I'm sitting here in downtown. We're using Tink Fiber. Here's the crazy thing is, though. There are parents that are in central Virginia that are having to put their children in a car and drive to a hot spot sure. within a school system sure. to download educational material because they don't have the, the ISP capacity at their home. That's horrible. It, That's it, like it, basically saying to somebody, and I know this is a bit hyperbolized, but it's in the same neighborhood. That's like saying someone does not have running water at their house and they have to go down to the river to fill up the pitcher to drink water for dinner that night. So... Everybody on this call knows I sit on some different things, different boards. So one of them is the Thomas Jefferson Community, uh, Community Planning District Commission. And, uh, you know, my hat's off to Nelson. I've done Nelson it, County. I've done it before on the show, Fulvana County. They got in front of this literally a decade ago. The problem is, is when you start taking a look at these other jurisdictions, in order to really run that backbone, we're going to be having that conversation five years from now. It's, of course, it's just a, a, it's, it's a huge amount of money, huge commitment to go to go and do it. So, you know, from a mark from a real estate perspective, you're going to start seeing that. And, and we were on a call yesterday, actually, um, we had Jesse Rutherford on the call, and and they they made this commitment by 2024. Yeah, the whole count, and that's a huge 
step forward. And, and that's not a small county, right? It's not no. like Charlottesville, it's which is huge. huge as far as geographic yeah. To, to make that commitment. By the end of 2024, Nelson County, um, its leadership, Jesse Rutherford, our friend, have said the county will have broad oh, let's not call internet. him a friend. Let's get a carry I, away. He's my friend. <laughs> I'm I love Jesse. I'm just I know you love him, too. Yeah, yeah. he's a good guy. So, um, thank you. Yeah. Congratulations to you, my friend. Um, thank you. Uh, I'm the lightweight. I only took a little bit of a sip. It looks like you two guys Dude, are... Dude, I'm ready to top it off again, Quentin. If you were here, I'd be filling the glass again, Quentin. Well, you could probably talk him into doing it virtually, but mine was just a sip. I'm a lightweight. We'll get your wife on here now. We're going to get Mrs. Smith yeah. on here, the better seven eights. Yeah. Quentin, thank you and, so much. And, and any questions for him before we jump him off? Um, you're getting a lot of props on the attire, primarily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Quentin Beckham in a sports no, jacket is getting a lot of props. Yeah, nobody cares about your presidency. The jacket, maybe they the do. The jacket, I want the jacket. I would wear that jacket. I would wear his jacket. I You're going to have to tell would. me what, well, how much that cost offline. I, I'd say that jacket is close to four bills. Close to four bills. If it's... I, I, don't even remember. I don't remember. He's being a nice guy. Quinn Beckham, you're Thanks, a classy Quentin. man. Appreciate hey, your thank time. Thank you. You have a good one, Quinn. Thank you for coming in. You have a good one. Quinn Beckham thank is A-plus people. Um, I'm going to get Yoda on the line here shortly. What do you think of his presidency? What do you think of that interview? Like I said, um, when he gave his speech and was tearing up, uh, I, I, I reached out immediately. I said, look, man, I, I need you to come on. Can you do that? And, and he's an extremely busy man, and, he, and I want to thank you. He fit this in, you know, at the last minute to, to come on and, and chat. I, I think it's going to be good. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll just throw it out there. I'll say it. Our industry needs to diversify. Right? What do you mean? Well, there's too many people that look like Quentin, Yona, and me. We, You're saying... Uh I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. A large percentage of the real estate agents in Central Virginia are white. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's what you're saying, right? Uh, I didn't use those words, but yeah. yes, we need to diversify. And, and, you know, that's something that Yona and I are trying to do the best we can. And I know Quentin will, uh, and, and we're going to volunteer and put whatever amount of time we can at, at CAR to help grow that agent profile because... How do you do that? You know, I don't know. You're the branding guy. I, I don't really It's got to start how, at the high school level. I don't um, really know how you do that. I'm going to throw this to you here. I think, uh, and we'll go long. We're going to get Yona in. Let's go long. Do you have time? Can you go long uh, today? I got a 12 o'clock. You have a 12 o'clock? Can we go a little bit longer? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, uh, apparently. <laughs> I mean, I, I enjoy chatting with you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, so the, the. Do you like it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, this is one time. of my favorites. Yeah. I, I, this is I, a top five. So the reason I'm drinking bourbon in the morning, for those that are just tuning in, is not because I'm drinking bourbon in the morning. It's because, oh. the, it's because the man is paying his uh, – we made a bet about real estate. And today he, he used a gentleman and he and gave me one of the finest bottles of bourbon you can get. Um, so I, I, I cracked it to wet the whistle here and to thank him for this gift. And you, and you wouldn't turn down a drink anyway. So. No, I would not. I work in advertising. I would not. My wife's watching. She goes, he's never turned down a drink. <laughs> uh, I'm going to throw this to you here. So the, the prioritization of a college education is kind of doing an about face. Oh. And people are realizing that coming out six figures in debt um, for an education that maybe not be worth that kind of that kind of monetary value is uh, something we should not do. So I'm going to throw this to you. What if we prioritized real estate with curriculums at the high school level so as students graduated from high school and were considering whether or not to go to college, they could then pursue an internship, an early stage development position at a firm like Yes Realty Partners coming out of high school? So that already exists. That does exist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we can bring in Ridge Schuyler uh, okay. from... Piedmont. Piedmont, Piedmont, Community. Yeah. Piedmont Community College has a real estate. You can take your real estate license there. But, you know, the, the reality of it is, is what you really need is a mentor and a coach to get through that because at the end of the day, it's your own business. Exactly. So you got to really learn the, you know, real estate is one end of it. Then you got to learn the business side of it and the relational side of it. And uh, who's really a rock star at doing that is who we're about ready to bring on. Yona. Which She's is, a coach. Well... Yeah, she's been coaching me for 35 well, years. Well, but she does it professionally. She coaches other agents. She does coach other agents. Yeah, mm -hmm. because if you think about it, and, and I'm going to throw this to you and tell me your thoughts. If I would think the mindset of being self-employed and an entrepreneur is stronger than ever now. And why I think it's stronger than ever now is because of a number of reasons. COVID has made us realize we need a side hustle. We have shows like Shark Tank and The Profit on CNBC that have glorified what we do. It's the opposite of that. You know, 
on t and on top of that, education is being deprioritized. So I'm going to throw this to you. If you can think of a business to start, and it's not an easy business, but a business to start from an overhead standpoint or a breaking the barrier standpoint, the, 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 this is one to do. Yeah, so the entry level is a little, at the bar, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a little low. It's lower. It's tw is it 1200 a year for the license? Well, then you have to go through the, you have to get your the license. Class the class first. class and yeah. all this kind of great stuff. So it's, 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 it's more than that. I don't know the exact number, to be frank with you. It's been decades right. since, since I've But the done. renewal's 12, right? Yes. Well, that's car. There's all different fees and stuff like that. But I think the renewal is only a couple hundred bucks every two years on that end of it. But the real, the real trick to it is, is the skill that you have to learn. So it's funny. Um, get off of real estate for a second. Um, I'm really super passionate about growing the vocational. And that's what, you, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Right? And the, it should be part of the vocation school. Like yeah. Kate, maybe not Kate, maybe it's part of Kate. I mean, maybe that's how you well, do it. I, I, it's, we're, we're way above my pay grade at this point. Uh -huh. But the reality of it is, um, wrote it down, between 2008 and 2010, what was, everybody was pushing, go to college, go to college, go to college, go yeah. to college. And so, so, you know, we're business guys. What, did, what happened? We got an oversupply. Exactly. It's a supply and demand thing. And what happened was... And, There's and, too many college graduates with too much debt. Well, that's a whole different... On their balance sheet. That's a whole different world. I had a conversation with a friend of our next door neighbor's uh, master's degree in, in, in education, same as Yvonne. You know, they, they walked out of college in the 70s and the 80s with zero debt. Our youngest daughter, which, thank the Lord, we can help pay a little bit, but she has a little bit of debt more than a little bit of debt. Um, my son-in-law has a substantial amount of debt as a doctor to go ahead and do this. But, but Your son-in-law is a doctor, so yep. he has earning potential. So that's a little different than a teacher, which is your daughter. That's correct. Yeah, so that's, too, that's, that's different. Well, that's, and again, it's a whole debate and a whole conversation and, and something to go through, but at a, at a high level, you know, we, we talk about this all the time. We got inventory shortage. Well, how do you get out of real estate inventory? Make sure. more. Yeah, Put no, more you, on the you market. Build more. Yeah. Right. Well, I can't build more because the vocational school isn't pumping out electricians or framers and stuff like that, and going through the apprenticeship programs. And my wife, as you know, is Austrian, and th they got this in Europe right long time ago, where they start growing these vocational programs, and 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 you can get somebody to come out of diesel mechanic school or diesel vocation. Making eighty k. Way more than a doctor yeah. makes. Yeah. To be honest with you. Right. Right. Uh, with no debt. And so so this. And I think this is something Quentin would, would support. It's never just one thing, right? It's these series of different things tied together. But, you know, we, we need to uh, up the vocational. As you, everybody knows, I don't have a college education. We're doing pretty darn good. Yeah. Yona's pretty sharp. She's super educated. Um, but, uh, you know, so there's this potential. But you've got to be able, you've got to have this entrepreneurial spirit, right? You know, you, the entry level can get in there, but you've got to be able to work, you know. You know, I would say this. I, when I was coming up in Williamsburg, I'm going to reach out to her. I'm gonna, when, when I was coming up in Williamsburg. I know Mrs. Smith has something to do. That's the reason I'm looking at the calendar. When I was so reaching, high. when I was coming up in Williamsburg, I had no choice but to go to college. Yeah. My parents said, you will 100%. You have no choice. We will drag you to UVA. You're going to go to college. You're going to do this. You have no freaking choice. If my kid is too... He turns three in March. 15 years from now, he's a senior in high school. If he says to me, I don't want to go to college, you know what I say? I'm like, okay. So uh, Sir, I, I'm sincerely saying No, 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 no. I, yeah. we, we, it, and you might want to call him Mrs. Smith. But, but we've had the same exact conversation with our oldest daughter and our grandson that, that frankly, she's pushing. Not to do it. Well, to get a vocational, to get a vocational training. Hey, Shotzi. Yeah. To get a vocational training. Now... Come on, so the, it's just like real estate. Everything's cyclical, right? So who knows? Fifteen years from now, it might rever in reverse, and there's not enough, edu you know, college and maybe too much vocational. But as we stand at the moment, we are, uh, you know, pretty short on skilled. Yeah, labor. skilled labor. Skilled, skilled labor. Yona Smith is on the call. Yona, hello. How are you? Good. What do you make of this conversation? What do you make of the uh, what do you make of the skill labor college education conversation we're having here? Uh, I, 
absolutely agree with with uh, what. Yeah. Good morning, Jerry. Congratulations. Good morning. Congratulations. Hello. How are you? Hey. Hey, Shotzi. How are you? Oh, Keith. Love you, baby. Keith. Okay. Absolutely a conversation to have. I love you too. I, Thank you, Judah. I'm done. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> love you, Shotzi. Can you hear me, guys? Oh, we can, can hear you, you perfectly. Love you, Shotzi. Okay. So that's it. Go ahead. No, stop. <laughs> Ask her some real estate questions. <laughs> I have somewhat of a delay here. Okay, so Mrs. Smith is having some technology difficulties in the in the uh, in the sweet house upstairs uh, up there. So what okay, we've been I'm talking. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the Facebook. Hang on a second, so you guys can hear me. There you go, Shotzi. So we got it. We got it. We got to ask you some questions. Jerry's getting a little nervous over there. It's an interview. We, we got it's an interview. It's <laughs> some dead some dead time going on over this way. So what did you think about the conversation with Quentin? Oh, she's still trying to figure it out. Look at oh, that. Oh, man. We got her, Judah? We don't, I don't hear her here. Yeah. I still hear reverberations. Let me get all the Yeah. Okay, Mrs. Smith. Can you hear me Smith. now? Oh, we can hear you, Yoda. No problem. Good. Good. I think it's a lot better. Uh, let me see if we can get the camera back on. No, we're it's seeing on. you. We're yeah. perfect. Just talk, baby. You just shut it off. <laughs> Good. Just, uh, okay. just talk. Tell me about Quentin's interview. Well, I think it was a great interview. Just like I said, wanted to congratulate you. Uh, and uh, it's interesting you're having a drink that early in the morning. So uh, I'm sure that somebody will need a, will need a nap during the course of the day sometimes today. Right? <laughs> I think yeah. it might be Keith. I think it might be yeah. Keith that is. <laughs> Got it. But anyhow, no, I, I, think, I think it's an absolute uh, great discussion to go ahead and see how we can uh, really kind of not only improve but also grow the pool of um, I wouldn't just say realtors but just skilled skilled uh, uh, I would say labor or, or contractors or anybody out there who can who can help us uh, try to go ahead and get through the uh, through the uh, um, you know availability of homes and stuff like that. So there's a lot of there's a lot of different avenues that I think we can we can explore. Isn't that a pretty scarf she has? On? I love her scarf. So so what about Quentin and his conversation? And what did you think about uh, him as uh, president in 2021? I I think it's a phenomenal uh, step. I uh, I have to say I'm I'm very very happy and proud that. Uh, we are able, as CAR members, to go ahead and help support his efforts. Uh, I do agree with uh, one of the missions that he has uh, put in front of us, which is uh, make sure that we all are embracing diversity and also at the same time uh, not forget what really what, what our business is all about, which is building relationships. So um, building and maintaining relationships and uh um, being being um, being part of a of a of a group that we can go ahead and make a difference. So I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to to serving under his leadership and uh, see what we can contribute to that. Make that make that. So you and I have this next question conversation all the time in our little morning walks and all that stuff but for, for those who, who are watching that don't join us on our little 5.30 walk every morning um, uh -huh. what, do you, what do you see 2021 looking like? Good question. I would say it's a continuum of what, what we have to what we had to learn how to embrace in 2020 and um, I'm thinking that if we can grow as humans and try to even make more of a difference in someone in someone else's life, I think the better it is. Um, I'm not just looking at the 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 uh, the growth of the real estate, but I'm also looking at the growth of the human being itself. I think uh, Mother Nature has taught us something in 2020 that um, we all had to kind of hit the reset button and kind of learn again how to be a human being, enjoy the moment and be in the moment and um, kind of really reestablish what it means to be a human, to be humble, to have humanity. 
uh, and uh, just grow as a grow as a human being to go ahead and help help each other through that. Um, I would say I don't want to call call it crisis because really what it was it was a challenge. Um, we we as human beings I think had to learn how to how to restart again and just learn the basics again. I mean if it, it, some stuff that we have taken for granted uh, now has become really, really, I would say, important again on the forefront again. And we, we appreciate the moment. Uh, we appreciate the fact that we can, we can operate. I mean, I couldn't imagine this happening in, during the time, you know, when uh, was it, I don't to try to, try to remember the, the time frames but right after the, the war, between the war, the Spanish flu, where people really had no way to communicate. Or can you so, imagine if this happened? Throw this in. I don't mean to interrupt you. Imagine if this happened. 1980. Imagine if this happened before the internet. That's what I'm saying. 1980. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Imagine if we had no internet and we were dealing with COVID. But I want to play off of what Yona just, what Yona just said because as she was speaking, it reminded me of something. And it's a terminology comes out of the mouth of babes comes the truth. And this mm-hmm. is in reference to an article I read, was reading for our Thanksgiving show where, where I believe it was Minneapolis, I can't remember what city, but they asked a bunch of first graders, you know, what are you thankful for in this COVID 2021? And yeah. the num- you know what the number one answer was? What was the number one answer? It was spending, uh, having dinner with my parents. That's exact, with the family. Yeah. Yeah. The, so out of, it wasn't, hey, I had more time on my... I'm seeing my mom and dad. Right, sitting down, having a, a, a with fam- mom and dad, have a family, or dinner. mom and mom, or dad and dad, whatever it is, whatever right? it is, with my yeah. family, and 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 that was like poof. So you know, look, nicely is, done, Keith. Thank you. This is a horrible thing. This is not a good thing. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith sometimes disagree. I kind of call this a crisis, uh, but the reality of it is, um, if that is what comes out of this, there's a little bit more family time. You know, I, I don't see that as a bad thing. I what agree. You, what do you think, Shotzi? So for I, I, those would, who- I would wholeheartedly agree with that. I would wholeheartedly agree with that. And it, it just it just reminded me the whole the whole uh, process of how this whole started reminded me somewhat on uh, during our training to become EMTs. Uh, EMT is an emergency emergency medical technician. For the rescue squad, I do always remember when they, when we went to the training of a mass casualty incident, and what was the first thing that they taught us is to go ahead and really don't panic, don't panic, just uh, go ahead, take a breath, uh, reassess the situation, and figure out a plan on how to proceed. And that's sort of what I had to relearn again when we were told that. We needed to shut down. It was like, okay, so what does this actually mean, and how can we possibly, you know, get through that? And I have to tell you, we we are blessed. I mean, our industry is blessed to know that we were considered and still are considered essential. Amen. I mean, we're blessed in the sense that we can well, say it's because we, were we produced able to- the second amount of capital. Well, it's because if you guys had taken you guys away, the Commonwealth would have collapsed. Well, exactly Absolutely. right. All you got to all you got to do is look at 2008, 2010. Exactly. That tells you that. Yeah. Go, I'm so, sorry, Shotzi. But at that I time, we did you. not know that. At that time, we did not know that. Sure. We, sure. we were, we were, we were a sheer by the, I would say by the trust and very good opportunity to say we are allowed to continue operating. Uh, we had no idea that the real estate market will continue to hum along and uh so it was a leap of faith for whoever made that decision to say hey you guys are essential and you can continue to operate so so on on that level i i can i can say we've been extremely blessed and grateful and i think this is also something that um will continue in 2021 um i i do agree with what quinton said before is that just because the vaccine is coming out this is not going to be the end all uh there is going to be more process to go through uh, until we really have everybody comfortable enough to say, okay, and it's never going to be the same. It's just going to be different. It's going to be more comfortable and people are just going to be able to say, okay, yeah, I'm comfortable to move on to the next step. Um, but so I, I don't know if that answers your question, Jerry, uh, but that was but, a good, qu- that was a good answer. 
I Rashad's feel I feel super confident about 2021, um, um, especially knowing that we have certain tools in place and certain opportunities in our lives also that can can make that happen. So I'm very grateful. So a little shout out to my Shotzi. So those that's my nickname for Yona. That's German for sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> Thank um, you. So, uh, but talk about going outside of comfort levels, right? You, yeah. uh, you've done a great job with this. This, this, this made Yona really go outside of our comfort level. And, and what's want, that? You want to talk about that for a second? And you did a great job. Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Technology. But if you had talked to me. Technology. Oh, if you talk, that's exactly right. If you talked to me about six or nine months ago, that I will be actually uh, doing a Zoom training and a Zoom phone call and a Zoom and a video call and a video conference call and a what WhatsApp call and la la la. I probably would have laughed. Or, or a Skype a Skype interview on on I Love Charles. Well, Wait. Well, it, we, Yasmin is watching right have, now. Oh, is Yaz watching? Yaz is watching right, right now. You ready for this, yes. Yona? Yaz says this is for Yona Smith. I love it, Yona Smith. Keith, how did you do this? I love it, Yona Smith. That's from Yaz. So, so oh, our daughter amazing. is getting right Yasmin. in the middle. Yasmin. Yasmin is getting in the middle. How do you of say her time. last name? Her last name? Yeah. Tyson. Okay, Tyson. May, maybe, maybe this is Yasmin. This is a different Yasmin then. Maybe Who? that's my, that's my sister. Okay, Yasmin Schodel. So that is Schottel. in Austria. Yeah, that's my sister. It's her sister in Austria. She's China. watching in Austria. In Austria. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. It's yeah. your sister. Yeah. It's your sister, Yona. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, absolutely. No, I say thank you. Yeah. No, I, I told her about, uh, I think I just texted her this morning and I said to her, I said, uh, we are Skyping this morning. If you, if you want to join us, that would be great. But I'm glad, I'm glad she's able to connect. But these are, these, these are the blessings. Yeah. I mean. Right? We just experienced it. Yeah. There it is. The world's smaller these, right now, Yona. The world is smaller. However, uh, there's always a silver lining with stuff like that. And that comes back to. Uh, one thing that I had to learn and which this is also going out of my comfort zone is I'm a very synergetic person, as you probably know. So I need personal interaction. That means live personal interaction me too. in order for me to really operate and function well and be, be the person who I am. So that was a big challenge for me to be sort of isolated from, from um, the real human. Um, so I had to learn that. And Keith knows that very well that, after three days of working from home, uh, his wife is ready to go out and just uh, enjoy the human human element again. I, I can only stay, you know. I came home last Zoom. night. I could see it in her eyes. And so. she's like, I got to get out. Yeah. I got to get out. Yeah. Got to get out. I'm the same way, Yona. I am the absolute same way, 100%. I mean, like, your husband is one of probably 14 people I interact with every week. Oh like he is part of like he is part of the pod. You're, you're part of my pod. Yeah. Your pool's a little shallow there, bro. Well, I mean, you're supposed to kind of make it a shallow <laughs> pool during a pandemic. <laughs> okay. But so, I, I completely well, respect she, with what she's saying though. I miss seeing and interacting. I miss going and having like posting up at the bar or going to a football game yeah. or a basketball game and being around people. So I'm going to give you a shout out right we are, now. We are, we are, we are by nature, Jerry. As you know, we are by nature. We are, uh, we are created social. to be very social. Yes. So that's that's, and some people, some people have a little bit more of a social synergetic element than others. Uh, I can tell you, I would not know what I, what I do in isolation. I have no idea. But just to speak of the technology, what it actually, what it actually helped me do, just as a person on a personal level. I actually had the opportunity to go on a WhatsApp phone call yesterday with my 83-year-old aunt that's awesome. in Austria. I, I, I think that's great. Yeah. That's great. We had a chat. We had a chat. She, 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 was, she, was, she was delighted to hear my voice, and we had a chat. And it was just wonderful. The other thing is, is I wasn't able to attend my high school graduation reunion this year, and so they zoomed me into the into the actual celebration. So could you imagine this twenty years ago? Right. Well I, said, you. I don't think you, know? you could have did it two years ago. Yeah. So so Shotzi, so, we we've got to do our show wrap. Dude, you up. outkicked your coverage. Oh, uh, <laughs> Yona is a catch. You outkicked your coverage. I love you, Shotzi. Yona, love you're you the too. best. I love you. Thank, Thank you, you for Yona. Doing this. Jerry Judah. 
Thank you, guys. I love you, thank too. Thank you for doing this, Hey, babe. thank you, Yona. Seriously, thank you, thank Yona. Thank you for doing that. You guys rock. You Absolutely. have a good one. Take you care. Have, sounds good. Talk later. Take care. Bye, Yona. Every day I wake up and try to... You outkicked your cover. I try to, I try to deserve what, what I got. <laughs> um, Quentin I Beckham says, I love me some Yona Smith. So so thoughtful and always keeping people first. She oh, yeah. is a master of relationships. Oh, without 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 a doubt. You know, I I, uh, I think we talked about this a long time ago. Um, you know, the the secret to thirty five years of marriage, what a is partnership. The secret? What's the secret to marriage? Well, I think you just hopefully you just experienced it. Um, Hopefully you just experienced that. Take notes. Uh, a Skype interview with Yona. No, God, you're a pain in the butt. <laughs> Judith thought that was funny. You're laughing at, at him, right? That no, me, he's right? laughing at me. At you, yeah, not, not with, with you. Me. Not, not with, with you. me, not with me. So, so the secret is not that difficult. Be with, partner up, whatever you want married, whatever terminology you wish to use. Somebody who makes you a better person every day. It's that simple. And, you know, I surely outkick my coverage, but every day I wake up, um, she makes me a better person every day. I hope I make her a better person every day, but I struggle at it, and I, and I try to do the best, the best I can. But y Yasmin wanted me to emphasize it was sister. Sister. Yeah. 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 Yasmina, so that's Yasmina, as we refer, uh, Yasmina 1 and Yasmina 2. Okay. So uh, our oldest daughter's namesake is after my sister-in-law, Yasmina. And uh, Yasmina, too, I know, is on a set right now doing a shoot. So if she was chiming in, it might be an issue on that stuff. Um, Andy Wilfong, the dinner table is the most important piece of furniture yep. in the house. Trust that. No, I, I, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing that it went, it, it went and did that. And so uh, it could be a positive that that happened. But, you know, I, you know it, we surely didn't need this to get there. No. But... It that helps. may be a win. Yeah. That may be a win on all that stuff. So what do we want to do? You want to do another bet? You want to talk What's about? the prop bet you have in mind? I don't know. We got to do something. I'm gotta, happy to do prop bets. I got to figure out a way to get. One of my skills is outlining the, uh, the specs of a prop bet. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have to offline talk about that. I got to. I, gotta, I, I like the prop bets when they're coming, coming out in the fly. Uh, like in conversation uh -oh. without so having you're planning and thinking. You're, you're trying to bait me into something no, else. <laughs> so. I just like a proposition bet to come up in the, in the sake of a conversation, in the course of a conversation, as opposed to us planning the prop bet. Yes, dear. What, what kind of prop bet so do you have in mind? You're, you're, you're my work wife. I, I am your work wife. I am your <laughs> work crazy. wife. Crazy. Yeah, I, I, don't, you know, I don't know. I think we've got to come up with something to go ahead and see if uh, i got an opportunity to win back. Uh, it's got to be – it's got to be – here's the bet I was thinking about. Go ahead. I was thinking about um, a bet about the floodgates opening because I think both of us mm. see in 2021 – once this vaccine becomes ubiquitous and like widely available, I think the real estate floodgates will open a little more. You disagree? That might be a good prop bet. Yeah. Because I disagree. So I think you're going to go on that one. You're going to do an over. I'm going to do an under. I, okay. I think the. So why do you disagree? I think the inventory. I think. But you don't think the inventory will become more on market when people feel more comfortable with folks coming in their home to tour the inventory? It's a volume thing. I, I agree 100%. Comfort level is going to go up, but you know, because we're lacking consumer confidence now. We're lacking consumer confidence, but we have an industry that's really got on top of that. So we we don't hear, I'm unsafe. Very rarely we we hear we hear that from either buyers or sellers. Can this I throw point. this to you? But I do hear. Excuse me. I do hear. Where am I going to go? Exactly. So isn't where am I going to go? Consumer confidence. It's consumer confidence, but it's it's also a, a function of numbers, math. Right, so if if it, the the buyer the reason we don't have enough inventory is because people aren't confident enough to list their house right now. That's why we don't have inventory. Uh, well, I disagree with that. I, I I I think that's a part of it. There's some of that out there. It's not a huge percentage of it. The bottom line is, there's enough product out there. It's a supply and demand kind of thing. Like for instance, it's hard to get that Booker's. Yeah. Why Super is it hard, hard to get that? Because it's good. Well, that too, but why is it hard to get that Booker's? I mean, my... For, they don't for, make a lot of them. Yeah, and it's really good. And that's not just straight off the shelf Booker's. That's a small batch... Yeah, it's a good one. ...numbered right. unit. Well, it's hard to get, and it's hard to get because they don't make a lot of them. So we talk about this all the time. That they, they, 
the, the new construction inventory has to go up. And when that new construction inventory goes up, we, we're just assuming confidence is coming back. Then you'll start seeing the resales coming up. But the buyer pool is this. The product for which them to buy is, is that. But, and it's re this is really the time that you need to have a skilled, trusted advisor. So we... Yes, a, Realty Partners, all the way. Th we have a... No doubt about it. Thank you. We have a... This Milton home we sold, right? Yeah. So we're now... Sold in three days, right? Three days, yeah. And we're under contract in three under days. Under contract, three days, yeah. yeah. Thank you, under contract. So what we're, what we're doing is we were smartly, and Caitlin Mancini was, was great on this, um, but we, we've negotiated the deal with there's a leaseback scenario. Caitlin was the buyer's representation? No, 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 no. I'm just giving a shout out oh, okay, to Caitlin. Gotcha. That's she, what her strategy. Well, it was one of her strategies yeah. on, on that kind of stuff, which is something that we, we have done multiple times in the past. So that's what we did. So we raised the, the confidence level on this particular buyer isn't the, 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 the COVID right, that's there, what their confidence needed to be raised on is say, we're, in, we're gonna help you, we are on your team, we are, we are on your team, we will find you another home to buy, well, this is how we're gonna do this because we, we raised our confidence because we, we did this lease back scenario. So they close, they get their capital, right? They have their cash, they lease back the house, and now we try to go out and buy something else. And that's how you raise the confidence of, of them. You know, it's more than just one. I guess what I'm trying to get at, it's more than just... It's a silver buckshot, not silver bullet. There you go. Yeah, yeah, silver buckshot. Thank you, Quentin, for yeah. reminding me of that. Yeah, he, he quoted a friend of a friend, which was your buddy in, my, in, my, on the man, West Coast. I, I, is, I, and and at, uh, at some point, I'm going to put... We should bring that dude back on. I love Robert Liberty. Yeah. At some point, yeah. I'm going to try to physically put Robert Liberty and Quentin Beckham together. Oh, that would be hilarious. And that would them, be hilarious and informative. And I would bring them a bottle of bookers. Yeah. And then we would just stay and watch them. I just would sit back. <laughs> and watch them. <laughs> just watch them. Yeah. And, and we would be entertained. <laughs> we would be entertained. So, I mean, I'm going to throw this maybe is the prop bet is, is shaping up like this. And maybe we table the bet. And I love going long on this show because I enjoy, oh, I enjoy spending, I enjoy hanging out with you. Sorry about the time, man. You have to leave at 11.50? I got a 12 o'clock. Okay. And Judah's like, Jerry, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to throw this to you here. Give him another sip. Everything will be okay. I mean, he, when I poured a second round, he like kind of made a body language. He's like, let me, uh, let me throw this to you. Okay. All right. And I have a lot of practice here. So a second round for me is like, what the whistle for you. Okay. So I'm going to throw this to you. I'm going to throw this to you. Um, maybe this is the prop bet. Maybe the prop bet is when the vaccine hits X level, a certain amount of level of, that we agree upon in Americans, a certain amount of Americans based on population get the vaccine. What is that going to do to the real estate market? Because what I think is what's going to happen, and maybe I'm wrong, you're the expert. Apparently I, I, not. I just lost a bottle of book. I mean, I have a proven track record of seeing down the road. I, I'm going to say this. I, I will say that. It's one of the schools. Uh, I think what's going to happen is the vaccine is going to manifest and create incredible consumer confidence. And I think the second part of 2021, the last six months, Q3 and Q4 in 2021, are going to be freaking, so freaking hot for you guys. So, so my problem, I, I don't, I'm good going with you on that. My problem is we got to wait so long. How so? You're talking about what? Wait so till you, June? You're talking second half. So yeah. that means we're waiting this time of this year to run our numbers and see who won. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, want, I, want, I, want, I, want to, I want to come up with something I can get that, get well, that I can't back. Well, I can't do a prop bet for Q1. I think Q1 is going to be yeah. dog poo. Do you disagree? Uh, I don't know about that. We, well, let's do that. Let's try a Q1. Let's see if we can get a Q1. You want to do a Q1 bet? Okay. What's your Q1 bet? All right. Maybe we'll do a, an over on the Q1. That Keith Smith, you're my friend. Yeah. And I don't, want to, I don't want to take another bottle of bourbon from you. Do you really? I've already I'm, ordered another one for okay, you. Okay, I mean, so. I'm just going to throw this. You're my friend. Yeah, yeah. You're my fr your family. Yeah. The worst part of this is going to be the end of January. <clears throat> the worst part of this is going to be the first end of January and the worst week in the first so week may of February. Maybe That's the worst part of COVID. Yeah, so, so for the sake of a talk show. Half of Q1 is going to be COVID killed. Because of the super spreader events of Hanukkah, New Year's, and Christmas. All right. You disagree? Let's think about this a little bit. I know. I don't want to think about it. Let's do it right now. What's your Q1 bet, my friend? Let's do it right now. Okay, I'll do a Q1. What do you want to go against? Well, what's your Q1 bet? I, let's do an over-under Q1 versus Q4. No, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do 
do that. Really. You don't, I don't want really. to do I'm that. I'm just having fun watching I'm being your friend here. I'm being your friend. All right, you want to do, do a Q4 I, Do you think I really care if I no, win or lose care. these things? You're doing it for the sake of a talk show. Yeah, yeah. I also, I, I'm doing it because I'm your friend. All right, let's do a Q4. You're Q, a bit competitive. You know I, that. You, you know that. I'm a bit competitive. It's, it's why, it's, Any so therapist I'm, watching? I have seven upstairs as tenants. <laughs> <laughs> I married to one. <laughs> Get it. Um, all right, throw it to you. What yeah, do you yeah do? I, I'll do it. I, you know, I, 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 I'm telling you, I, maybe I'm just overconfident on, on some of the contracts we're doing, but I think, you know. Yoda says, Keith, the market will be strong at the start of Q1 2021. Okay. She's encouraging you to take the bet. Is that that's what, what you that's what <laughs> Wait till Mrs. Smith see the, sees the credit card How bill on that. It was a hundred bucks, right? Well, maybe more. Was it a buck ten? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's a buck ten. Something like that. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Let's do it. Okay, so what's the bet? I'm telling you, the same set of numbers, the she, same. Oh my gosh, she's straight up saying, oh, no, no, no. She's incur- No, I will not do that bet, Yona Smith. I will not do that bet. She wants me to do Q1 2021 versus Q1 2020. I want to do. You know what? Actually, I should. That's an. That's an actually. What's the bet she wants to do there? Over under. That's what she's, she's saying. Q1 about. 2021 will be over Q1 2020. Will Q1 2021, Yona, be over Q4 2020? That's the bet we're talking about. Oh with no, your no, 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 no. That's Thank the you, bet Mrs. we're talking. Smith. No, no, no. She no. said you should do that bet. No, 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 no. <laughs> you just. We just. How are we doing on time? We're. we're yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Well, it's 11.35. You have yeah, a 12. Yeah, yeah. And I have a 12. I just got to walk down the Right. The, the and I just, have to sit, I just have to go right there. <laughs> and you have to drink more of that. Yeah. But uh, no, actually, I think Mrs. Smith is on to something. What? Well. Q- Q1 2020 versus 2021? Yeah. And who's going to beat who? Yes. I ain't touching that. I'll touch 2021 uh, Q1 versus Q4 2020 and who's going to beat who? Because you think Q1 2021 is going to beat Q4 2020. Don't you? I like the Q1, Q1, but, but you're not going to go there. Well, yeah. I'll do that. Let's do that. So you want to do that. Okay, so here we go. We got a bet. I'm going to write this down. This is the bet. So you're taking Q4. You're taking Q1 2021. Mm-hmm. You're taking the first three months of 2021. I'll take the last three months of 2020. And it's an over-under. I got I to gotta, I gotta beat Q4. In, in which metric? All of them. We'll do the same bet. Okay, so it's DOM. Well, I don't want to the, – the, the bet we should make fair. You, I don't think you should win in every – you have to win in every metric. Okay. So it's DOM, total sales volume, right? Is it total sales volume? That no, was let's one. drop DOM. You want to drop DOM? DOM is – yeah, that's, that's the thing. So let's do volume. Total sales volume, okay. No, 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 volume of units. All right. Well, you want to do total sales volume, right? Number, monetary Just volume? Let, let me kind of right, finish. Sorry. Okay, you can finish. Sorry. Good Lord. <laughs> Mrs. Miller, uh, God, God help you. She, she says the same. Yeah, no, and do She's, something about the spider, will She you? said it this morning. Did she really? Yeah. yeah. She goes, you're such an asshole. Is that yeah, what she said? Pretty, really? Yeah. She literally said that. Pretty much. Pretty much this morning. Okay. C- can you pay attention, please? I am paying attention. Uh, unit over. Total unit. Total unit over. Right, so I got to beat whatever the total unit is. Right. And let's just do sales volume. All right. Okay. Those two. So two metrics. You're, I'll, I'll take Q. I'm going to walk that back. Total number of units, not total sales volume, but the median sales price. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not including I I, I that. I tried, I no, 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 no. Total I, sales volume, not median sales price. Oh well. I'm not going to let you include median sales price when there's no inventory and no inventory is driving up the cost of everything. Got to give me a chance, man. I am giving you a chance. I'm giving you total sales volume and total units. Is that the bet? Whatever, yeah. <laughs> That's a good bet. The good news is I ordered a second bottle when did I ordered Did you genuinely do that? Yeah, sure. You did? You're a good people. You're a, this I, guy I, is turning into like I knew, a, I knew, a very, very good friend of mine. I, I, I knew we were going to go down this road, and I just wanted to make sure I had one in case I lost. All right, so that's the bet, right? You better be ordering something from me online. I don't think you're going to win this bet, dude. Yeah, I'm whatever. more confident about this bet than the, the bet I just won. You know, uh, <laughs> it's got nothing to do with that. It's, it's, it's about sharing a, a drink with a friend and... Having a good time. I, and I appreciate that. Um, but I also want to win. Okay. <laughs> 12, 11.38. Can we wrap the show yeah, up? Yeah, we have to go. We have to, people are loving the conversation. They're genuinely watching us. Yeah. All right. I got to get out of here. So, uh, um, Quinn says, and if you tie, you both have to buy me a bottle of bourbon. In spandex. We got to wear spandex. We have to go to Quinn's house in spandex with a bottle of bourbon? 
No, that, that's, that's, that's not, what your suggestion that's not, was. No, I, I, I retract my statement. Okay, so we can wear our normal clothes. What's normal? And, and go to quick. I mean, what we wear right now. Actually, it's a nice outfit. You know, I like the pocket Thank square. Thank you. Matches your shirt. Well this done. This is cashmere. Not too bad, huh? Thank you. Not too bad. Uh, all right, my friend. Can, can we go now? Yes, we're, we're done. We are, we are. Next Tuesday. I'm you gonna... always want to go long. I want to go long today, and you don't want to go long. I got work to do. I know I have work to do. To so just like close the damn show, Jerry. So uh, next Tuesday we're going to invite a couple of our sponsors on. Are we going to do Dairy Market? Uh, Dairy Market, I think they. It's Friday. No, they bunted. Bunt, 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 I think us to the 18th. Okay. We're we're trying to. There's some issues with the governor's announcement and all this fun stuff. So we're trying to trying to be a little respectful for that. And so I stayed some stay, back to off. I said, Jody, when you're ready, just call us and we're there. No, we're gonna we're gonna say a little thank you to uh, like a round robin with our guests, with our sponsors. That's next, awesome. Next Tuesday. I love it. I love it. He's Keith Smith. I'm Jerry Miller. It's Real Talk on the I Love Seville Network. It's presented by the Yes Realty Partners and yeah. the Yes Team Realtors. There you go. A lot of yeses in yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of yeses in there. Keith, I enjoyed this. So Thanks you know what Yes stands for, right? Yeah, it's your it's Yona's initials. Uh, Yona Elizabeth Smith. Is yeah, right. right? Mm -hmm. Are your daughter's initials the same? Uh, yeah, sure. Did Are they I, not? No, uh, well, they've changed now because they're married. But before, when you uh, gave them no, their They names. have different middle names, but okay. they both start with, both our children start with Y, so they're... Y-S. Y -S. different S. middle. Different middle names. My brother and I have the same three as my dad. Really? We're all JFM. Yeah, so I respected what you did with Yes. How's your dad doing, by the way? Oh, he's doing okay. Good. Yeah, we're, we're not going to see him over Christmas. Oh, uh, bummer. Yeah. Sorry to hear but that. But we're going to do the, uh... My Which, idea. Yeah. You, got to, you actually stole We're my gonna idea? We're going to do your idea. Yeah. We're going to do a 45-minute Zoom call, both sides of the family. With everybody together. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. It's a brilliant idea. It's like the best thing mm. of like... Did you just call me brilliant? I, I call you brilliant often. I call you brilliant often. It's the best thing outside of not being in person. write that down somewhere? What's that? Do you hear that, Quentin? He called All me right, brilliant. Hold on. Hold on. No, Keith I'm Smith, is, you want it? he said, he, can you write this down? Keith Smith is brilliant. There you go. Is this good? I like it. Look Today it. was a good show. Um... Hey, let me, I'll close on this. 15 more seconds and I'm out. This dude gives you two hours of what he's all about, three hours a week probably, of what he's all about on this network. And if you can't see somebody that's going to go to the wall for you and back during the most stressful situation of your life outside of marriage, which is buying and selling a home, come on. Yes, Realty Partners. Yes, Team Realtors. Keith and Jonas Smith. Call Mrs. Smith. Did you see the copy that we did on the post yesterday? Keith and Jonas Smith have done it again. Did you see that? I did. I did. Did you like it? I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> All right. We're out of here. We got to go. You have a good afternoon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> you loved it? Did you love it? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, it was good.